Pickers, how you doing out there today? I'm Gene, welcome to TriadMusicStudio.com and today we're going to learn that song, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry by uh, Hank Williams Sr. So, let's get started. Uh, I play this song in the key of E. And it's a three chord song, that's it. It's an E, an A, and a B7. And the rhythm throughout is going to be down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. counting. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and the whole way through this song. So we're going to do a close up, and I'll show you more. Okay, so I believe that Hank did this song in the key of F, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm doing it in E, because it's easier, guys. Instead of playing an F like this, full bar, and then a B flat, a double bar, and then a C7, which isn't so bad. But anyway, that F and that B flat are a lot harder to play. Uh, so we're going to do it where we know bar chords, just E, A, and B7, like I mentioned earlier. Alright, so the first part is going... Uh, it's like, let me think here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe it's seven measures of this E. Going one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And so we're going, here, that go. So that was two measures of that A. We go back to E. One, two, three. One, low. I'm so lonesome. Now that was three measures of doing the E. We now go to the B7. One, two, three. I could. One measure. That's it, of that B7. And back to E. Cry. And that's two measures of that. And then that's the whole song. Uh, it's everything all over uh, again for the next verse and the following verse and so on until you come to the end where you're just simply ending on cry. Now, in the meantime, I like to put a little, uh, like, kind of like lead in a way in here. Uh, normally what I do is I'll run that rhythm that I just played through a looper. And then I'll go in and do the picking. Uh, I'm not going to the looper this time. I'm going to just kind of try to strum this and pick this out right here. Uh, everything right here without a looper, so... that first note here so anyway here we go <laughs> uh, the first note one is right here inside the E chord it's this one 
which is your third string first fret, a G sharp. And we're picking that here, there. And notice I'm kind of going like a down there, down, up, down, up. So I'm doing the same kind of thing. I'm going down, down, up, down, up. And then I'm picking that. The next one I'm picking is the fourth string second fret uh, here inside that E chord again with my third finger, which is an E note, that, and then doing an upstroke. Here, that, and I go back to this one again. Again, whip, so I hit that, that E again, and an upstroke, and then the B will, which is on the fifth string, second fret with the second finger, right inside that E chord, will, and back to that strumming, because that's the down stroke, down, up, down, up. Now it does that again. He all of that. He sounds too blue to fly. Now we're gonna switch to an A. Uh, before we switch to the A, we're gonna play this G sharp here. Uh, one more time. The mid. So actually we're going from an E to an A and we're, we're switching from this note, third string first fret, to the third string second fret right inside the A chord with the third finger. So it's going from this note in the E to this note in the A. And so I'm doing this note again and an upstroke. Mid, there's that A. Mid, and the down, up, down, up thing. Mid, that train. And then we're hitting an E again, but this time in the A chord, fourth string, second fret, right there. That is the A and the upstroke. We're switching back to an E. One. This time we want the open B, so it's a second string open. One. And that strum pattern. One. That time it was that G sharp again. So third string. First fret, and an upstroke, and then we go to the fifth string second on that B. So here it goes, whining low, whining low. All right, so we're we're at the third string first fret. G sharp, and we're going to be on, in the E chord, and we're going to be going to the third string second fret uh, with the little finger here, the uh, A note, which kind of gives us a, a E suspended, but it's, we just want this note, and then we're going to go to the second string open, uh, which is a B. So it's going. I'm so low. There was a second string from open. I'm so low, so. And then we're doing that rhythm. That down, up, down, up. So. An A chord. Ah. Oops, no, no, no. Excuse me. A G7. Ah. The note we need is an F sharp. It's really right here. Which is a fourth string, uh, a fourth fret, but that's one we're singing, but we're not playing that one. We're playing this one, which is an octave higher in pitch on the first string, second fret, but we still sing the lower one. I I so and a 
at that point I just strum that. I'm trying to emphasize that area. I'm giving that area there a little attitude, you know? I could cry. We go back to the E then. And we hit the E note within the E chord, which is on the fourth string, second fret. Cry. And we do that strum pattern. We're going to down stroke and down, up, down. Up. And then sixth string, octave low E. I have to B7. I could. Here we go to E. Cry. Now at this point we're going to start singing one of the other verses. That was our little lead. Okay, so uh, there's how to play I'm So Lonesome I Can Cry chords. Uh, singing it, as well as that little picking part. I hope you like this. And I hope that it helps you and works. Uh, I like to make this song a little bluesier when I play it. I'm not quite doing it, you know, like Hank did. I'm kind of slowing it down, I believe, a little more and, and bluesing it up a little. Uh, I just like that, you know. That song feels better to me that way. So I hope you like my little version of it as well. Hey, thank you very much once again. Please come back again. Go pick! <laughs>